What's up guys? Welcome to your 113th Android tutorial for the new boss in. What we're going to do in this tutorial, uh, well we're actually going to set up our database. Um, we're going to create a subclass and use um, the database helper for the most part to set up our database. So, uh, we have all our variables set up and now we just need to kind of reference everything, pull everything together, and we're going to use a class that's going to help us build a database. Um, again, you don't want to, you know, create uh, your database on a user interface thread. So we're going to create a new class that's going to handle it for us, and we're just going to call this class DB uh, Database Helper, something like that. And we're going to extend the class called SQL Lite Open Helper. Open Helper, and just you know, set up a new pair of brackets. And again, as you can see, it's just a private class. It's static. And we just have to import our SQLite uh, open helper. And we're getting in there because we need to add a constructor for this class. Again, a constructor is something that just helps, you know, it's kind of like an on create method for the most part when this class gets accessed. So we're going to set that up. And actually, I don't even like these other parameters for the most part. Um, so we're just going to use the context and uh, you know delete these here because we aren't going to use them for this constructor for the most part and uh, now we just need to kind of set up our or give our settings back for uh, our superclass so as for now we're getting an error as you can see it takes in for the parameters the context which is being passed into our constructor a string which is going to be our database name um, a cursor factory which uh, if you scroll down you can see null for default, which we're going to use, and then the version name, um, because you know you can upgrade or you can have different versions of your database. So let's just get everything set up so the super um, is happy for the most part for our SQLite open helper. Um, just make sure that class is happy with what we're you know passing into the super here. So again, our name is our database name, which we called hot or not database, um, which the variable name is database underscore name and again for our oops for our uh, factory we're gonna say null for the cursor and the version since we have our database uh, we set up that you know variable up there as well we're gonna say database version and that's just passing some you know some information into our super class because you know it wants some information so we're gonna make it happy alright so now we're getting another error uh, because we need to actually implement some classes from from this method SQLite open helper so we're gonna say add unimplemented methods and it adds two methods for us uh, the onCreate method which takes in SQLite uh, database DB and upgrade method um, and basically what's going to happen is the first time we ever create a database is the only time this on create method is going to be called after that it's just basically going to call this upgrade method and then we're going to you know cycle it through as well alright so now we need to set up a couple more variables uh, one we're going to reference this database helper class we're going to create an instance of that and we're also going to set up a context that we're going to use for this class so I know this might not be making a whole lot of sense yet but I am going to try and go through, go somewhat slow through this, uh, through through this SQL database um, little example that we're going to build, so, because it seems like a lot of people have trouble with SQL stuff. But what we need to do is create a, like I said, an instance of this class. So we're going to say DB, or whatever you guys labeled that class as, DB helper, and we're going to call this our helper, something like that. So it's just an instance of this class. We're also going to set up a context for our class. So we're going to say private final context our context or our our context. And one last class we're going to actually reference the SQLite database class. So we're going to say private SQL Lite database and our database so uh, we set up some more variables um, I'll just kinda explain them as we go when we use them 
and uh, in the next tutorial we'll set up our onCreate method here for our database. As we need to add a constructor for our whole public class called hot or not and it's basically going to get the context of that's being passed into this class and just set it up to this private variable so we can work with it that way. So just go below um, you know our database helper class and we're just going to again set up a constructor that's going to be uh, public and we're going to say hot or not and it's going to take in a context which we're going to call C and all we're going to do is set our context which is the context of this class equal to what's being passed in so there we go um, I don't know uh, if you guys quite understand what we're doing yet but I promise you you will uh, well at least I hope you will I'll try and go through pretty slow through all this uh, SQL Lite database stuff because it seems like a lot of people have trouble with this um, so you know uh, as for now you guys might be confused but hopefully you'll understand more as we go in the next tutorial we'll actually set up our onCreate method and set up our kind of our database so I'll have, have a good one guys